it is Crystal Palace 4, Manchester United new. Crystal Palace being the heck out of us. Manchester United, again, disappointing us as always like they have been throughout the whole season. I'm so annoyed. Bank holiday. It is bank holiday. It's Monday night and we are not enjoying ourselves. We didn't even get to enjoy the extra day. Three-day weekend has turned into three days of hell because Manchester United did not deliver. And once again, those players showed us exactly they do not play for the manager. Evidently not, because look at the way they were set up. There was no idea, no tactics, no game plan, zero game plan for the Manchester United manager. Eric Ten Hag out, I must repeat, because these boys went out there and performed absolutely nothing. Zero instructions from the management as well, for the managers carried it out onto it. It was an absolute embarrassment. It was atrocious for me to see here as a Manchester United fan and watch this team, this scumbag of a players, and I can see them right now, and big up to the Manchester United away fans who was commemorating these players clapping for them cheering them on and not jeering them like they're supposed to not booing their ass because they deserve to be booed those manchester united players and they are absolute embarrassment the whole game two shots on target seven shots on manchester united look at um christopher 18 shots 10 shots on target just conceding opportunities after opportunities from those that manchester united team that midfield the manager must be embarrassed the club needs to be embarrassed. These players should be embarrassed of themselves. You wake up the next morning and slap yourself in the freaking face because you embarrassed me. You embarrassed those Manchester United fans as well. You embarrassed the, the owners. Everybody that's associated with the club, even your family, brother. It is like that. I don't care, man. There is no rules to it. Anyone can get it. Anyone can get it because why? They've upset me. They've ruined my night. They've ruined my day. Today, you look at the first 45 minutes, we were so shit. We were so shit. What a bad first 45 minutes. All the possessions in the world for Manchester United to then concede two goals just like that. The first goal coming from Elise. Elise getting the ball, receiving the ball, running through the Manchester United midfield easily. And then finishing it off so damn well. Do, do, do you know what? Yeah, I'm tired of seeing teams going through a midfield and finishing goals. It... it well, it's, it's, it's deja vu all the time. The same goals that we keep conceding and conceding. Meteta as well. He ate Evans up for lunch, bro. For breakfast, for dinner and everything. He made him eat grass to skip past him and then smash it in the back of the net. Andre Onana, you had nothing. You couldn't even do anything. And it was half time two no down. We said we know we're down or out. We've been knocked out twice in the second half. There is no coming back from this match tonight. I have zero confidence that Eric Turner will take those players and tell them to go outside, march them on, get them on their march in order to turn this game around. Zilch. Zero, zero confidence. And I was so damn right because Manchester United conceded the third goal from Tariq Mitchell. Eze with the assist. Again, another easy breakthrough through Manchester United's midfield. Disgusting at times, you know, how so easy we are to just be broken down in that midfield. Eze slipping through Tariq Mitchell to, Mitchell to smash it in as well. Oh, no, no. <laughs> the way he can see these goals, he looks... It's just too easy. It's just, it's just not looking good for him. And then Alize striking the ball outside the box to make it 4-0. Crystal Palace having their fun and Manchester United again. Just ensuring that there will be no European football for us. Uh, I don't know what I can say, Manchester United holics. My Manchester United fans, 4-0 to Crystal Palace. An absolute embarrassment. The manager needs to get sacked. We can't go on like this. We have Arsenal next. We have Arsenal's next, and Arsenal's going to destroy us. This is 4-0 from Crystal Palace. Just imagine what Arsenal can do to us. It could be 6-0, it could be 7-0. It's an embarrassment. There's nothing from this team that tells me they want to play football, they want to fight for us. Nothing at all. It is... It's, I, can't, I just can't explain it anymore. The manager needs to look at himself in the mirror. He's not going to last. If he thinks... He's going to be manager of Manchester United. And I read rumours that he's in talks with Bayern Munich. Take that job. Just take it. Take it right now. Because we need a new manager. Start over again. New players and everything. Look at the players today. Casemiro was an absolute joke in defence with Johnny Evans. Both of them conceded easy goals. Got turned over. 
got made like a, like a fool. They're so old as well. Rasmus Hoyland is Red Bulls 2.0. I don't care. The guy is useless. Up front offers nothing to us. And Garnacho, that just shows us why we should, he shouldn't be starting every single game, why he's still a kid and we should have someone much more senior who's more productive and more prolific. This is this is just shows us exactly why Manchester United is in, in a total mess. You know what? I feel sorry for players like Kobe Maynard being abandoned in midfield. Mount, what did you do? What did Mount do? Mount less. Mountain bike. Just on your hook, man. Get the fuck out of my club, man. It is what it is, guys. This is this is Manchester United 4-0. Donkey of the match has to go to the whole team plus the manager. You can have that. You've embarrassed me. You let me down. You've let everyone down. Another game, Manchester United. Three points dropped. Lost. Not obtained. And nothing from this game. It is what it is, guys. Keep on supporting this channel. Smash that like button, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Let me know who your man of the match is, if there is any. Who, who your donkey of the match is, because this team have let you down one more time. We're back again Thursday, live, probably 5 or 6 o'clock for either your, your latest Manchester United news, definitely because of his, of course, Ola, brother, Ola it won't be away. He will, I mean, Ola will be away this weekend and this week as well. So we'll see him next time we resume. The, the let's talk football podcast next week but uh, sunday we have arsenal tune in for the watch along we're gonna get our ass whooped <sighs> as always guys remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united your boy is out peace this team is shit <laughs>